In this video, you will learn how to set up a Celestia light node which will allow you to do data sampling on the data availability network. Light nodes ensure data availability. This is the most common way to interact with the Celestia network. To get started, we'll visit the docs at docs.celestia.org. Here, we'll click on Developers and then Node Tutorial. Let's get started by checking out the hardware requirements by clicking here. As you can see, the hardware requirements for running a light node are 2 gigs of memory, a single core CPU, 5 gigs of solid state drive, and 56 kilobits per second bandwidth. It's also recommended that you be working from a Linux environment. Next, let's go ahead and set up the dependencies. We can follow the tutorial for setting up the dependencies by clicking here. The first thing that we'll do is copy this command to update and upgrade the operating system. Next, we'll download and install the packages required to run the light node by copying the next command and running it in our terminal. Finally, we'll install Go on our machine by copying the commands here and running them as well. Next, we'll configure our path. And then we'll check the Go version to make sure the Go binary is ready to go. Now that our dependencies are set up, we'll follow the installation guide for installing the Celestia node by clicking here. Next, we can install the Celestia node binary by copying the commands here and running them in our terminal. We can now check to see that Celestia has been successfully installed by running Celestia version. Now that Celestia node has been properly installed, we can now instantiate a Celestia light node by running Celestia light init. You can optionally create a wallet and request testnet tokens if you would like to send transactions to the network, but in this tutorial we'll be simply reading data from the network and we will skip this step. Next we want to connect to a public core endpoint. You can find a list of the public core endpoints listed here, and we're going to go ahead and click that link and we're going to grab the endpoint that is listed first here, rpc mamakipops one and we'll be using this RPC endpoint in this command here. We can now run the Celestialite node by running the command listed here along with the RPC endpoint that we copied to our clipboard. Now that the Celestia Light node is running, we can start testing out API calls. The first thing that we can do is query the balance for the default account. This balance should be zero unless you've requested testnet tokens to the address for the account. Here we see the response as amount being zero, which is what we expect. Next, we can request the block header information by running the following query. If you've requested tokens and would like to submit a pay for data transaction, you can also scroll down and see the instructions on how to do so here. For information about additional Node API endpoints, check out the Node API documentation here. 